and we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna instantiate our file input stream in our in it event attributes because the only time that we're using this and the only time that uh, that uh, we need it and we need a uh, vim file object is whenever we're adding a vim file to a book so we're just going to do it here now that uh, the files is now in the data is actually inside our byte array now we can actually just pass in our data and now we've created a, a vim object again we got to surround with a try and catch and just add these two lines in inside the try here add catch clause to surrounding try and now we're not going to we're not going to use this error dot print stack trace anymore because we're not using the command line anymore. We're going to use what's called a, uh, a GUI, a J option. Sorry, what was it again? Uh, message dialog. Oh, and I'm sorry about that. I forgot to do something very important. Um, in this vimfile.get name, we're going to set the text to the name of this. However, at this point, no, 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 that's good. What am I saying? So yeah, what I was talking about is a, a pop-up and a, the, the pop-up dialog. The dialog that we're going to be using is, uh, I'm trying to find it. Hold on a moment. Using the J option pane. So we're going to be using this J option pane quite a lot. So what we're going to do is just go up top here and we're going to declare private J option pane. We're going to call it DLG for dialog import the J option pane and we're going to initialize this uh, no we don't need to initialize the J option pane we just call the uh, show message dialog so that's what we're going to do if something happens if this fails if reading the, the, the data fails we're going to tell the user that hey there's an error somewhere uh, error reading file in this case, the file is not found, and in this case, there's an error reading the file. So, string is file not found, and in this one is error reading file. And then uh, the way we're going to do this, we're going to show the user this, is um, we're going to say Java No, sorry. Oh, and I'm sorry guys. I th no, no, no. Uh, I actually made a little mistake here. Ends with what we're doing here, what we're doing at this line over here, at this line of code over here, uh, this name is not actually referring to the name of this inside this text field, but we actually want to refer to whatever's inside the text field. So it's not this, it's not the Vim file name. It's, so just in case the user changes the name, it's the, uh, uh, add book panel dot 
get text field file and dot get text and at this point this is just a uh, you know that's right get text it returns a string and then that string whatever is inside our text field that's what we're going to compare it with and check if the uh, if it's a valid file type anyways let's go back here to using our dialog so dlg that show message dialog and the parent is going to be our screen that this dialog is going to pop up is going to originate from our screen and we're just going to say it's going to copy this string over here file not found it's giving me a warning the static method show message dialog should be accessed in a static way ah I see okay um, yeah uh, it's saying static because we're not using it statically we declared an object of this when we didn't need to we didn't we actually didn't need this we actually just need to say j option pane because this is a static method show message dialog so let's actually go ahead and delete our DLG variable here. But we still need it to Im uh, import the uh, J option pane. And J option pane. Let's copy, paste this, and there's an error reading the file. Now, in the case that none of this happens, and uh, once we added the book, once we added the vim to the book, to the to the vim cache, and now we're going to add this to the vim cache first. Add vim vim cache dot add. It's vim v. And now we're going to tell the user that that. Uh, that we've added it in our cache, that it's ready to be stored in the book when they click the uh, book thing, and that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna use. We're not gonna use a J option pane for that. We're just gonna use the log dog. Uh, 